Hi, I'm Todd Fardner, the Grand Wizard of Economics, and here we're going to talk to you about the Handy Gandhi Economic Guide. Now there are seven steps in this guide, seven, and we're going to explore the Handy Dandy Note Guide with our friend in here, the everyday consumer. Let's take a look inside. Beep, 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 get up little boy. Here we see the common consumer making his way out of bed. He's going to be faced with many choices today, and here's the first of many. On one hand, he has an empty soda can. On the other, he doesn't. He chooses to drink the one that's full in order to gain the nutrients he needs to continue his journey out the door. Gee, I sure have a hard problem to solve here. That's right. Our consumers encountered opportunity cost. I could walk around wearing not shoes and get frostbite. Or I could wear shoes. <laughs> Just go. attention because I want to steal your wallet and if you don't I'll kill you uh-oh looks like our consumers encountering incentive his life or his cha-ching ching bing bing oh ho ho so here you go why thank you <laughs> Components, command and market economies. The command economy. I am the command economy leader. I control all the little people out there and what they're doing, what they buy, and what they can sell. And I represent the market economy. I can buy, I can sell, basically everything in between. And this represents the traditional economy, based on tradition. What has always been will always be. I am the Stone King. I produce stones real good. I've got this stone and this stone. I pump them out. <laughs> good Mason, I am but a humble baker. And I have two cojones with your name on it if you give me one of those fine pieces of stoneware. That sounds like a great deal. <sighs> <laughs> Here we see a perfect example of the market economy in play. The Stone King can produce so many stones, and the baker can produce quite a few cojones. It's marvelous. Their perfect traits allow them to trade at a good deal. We're looking at making choices for the future, like depositing stone. I've got one stone here, and I'm going to take it to the bank. And I will get compound interest in ten years. It is now ten years later, as we see the Stone King swaggering on over to his bank account. Look at me, I'm ten years older. Three stones for me! And there you have it, the handy dandy guide to economics brought to you by me, the mighty wizard Economic!